Hello and welcome to my food channel. Uh, for those of you who don't already know, I am new to the food vlogging world and basically I started this just because I love cooking, especially I love cooking eggs. Um, I love eating eggs and finding new ways to prepare them. Um, so today what I'm going to be doing is making an egg salad but not not the kind of egg salad that goes in a sandwich, um, an egg salad that is just literally an egg over a salad. <laughs> so um, to do that, I have some spinach. You can use any greens though, um, lettuce, romaine, lettuce, like anything, but I just have spinach. Um, so that will be our base, our bed of lettuce. And then here I have some chopped up fruits and vegetables. You don't have to add fruits. Um, Typically salads don't really have fruits, but I, I do like a little sweetness in my salads. So I have some chopped bell pepper right here, chopped tomatoes, and then I have a few apple cubes. Um, the apple is just the only fruit that was acceptable to put in a salad that I had at home. You can also put, I think like grapefruits would be pretty good, or like oranges, anything kind of zesty, um, citrusy would be really good, but I have apples which will also be fantastic, apples are great. And then what I'm going to do is poach an egg and then lay that over the salad. So let me get into how to poach an egg. All right, welcome back. Here we are poaching our egg. Um, I don't yet have the resources to film this part while I am cooking, so I'm just gonna tell you what I did. You have the heat on a low to medium heat Pour some water in a skillet, let that get to a boil, and then you're going to pour in your egg, which I already did. After the egg is poured in, you want to take a spoon and slowly pour water over the top. That way, you are ensuring that you are cooking the entire egg and not just the bottom. Okay, now my egg is done cooking, so what I like to do is I take it out with a spatula. And you're going to have it be kind of watery, obviously, because, oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Pick it up again. And I like to put it on a paper towel. Okay. Okay, I just messed up my egg. I'm going to try again. Okay, so here I am, round two. Um, I just messed up cooking my first egg. Well, I didn't mess up the cooking part, it just fell um, and spilled, so um, we're trying again. That's okay, accidents happen. Um, so this egg is just about done. All the excess white part, um, part of it is from the first egg I cooked, um, but part of it is from the second. You can just tear it off, like, gently. It will come off easily. Okay, so this egg should be done pretty soon. And before I get into it, the way I like to remove the egg is I take a spatula. Spatula. I take it out and then I put it right here on a paper towel. That way the excess water um, will be absorbed by the paper towel and you don't have a like watery egg, which is fine. Like it's just water, but it is kind of gross in my opinion. So I like my eggs dry with no water, if that makes sense. Okay, so you can always check if it's done by tapping on the white part. If it's pretty hard, so this one is, um, that means it's done. But it's all based on preference. If you want uh, like a very hard egg, like hard yolk as well, I would let it cook a little longer. Okay, so let's try not mess this up again. I'm scared. Okay. So lay it down gently. There we go. Did not mess up. So I'm just going to let this sit here. Oh, turn off your heat. You don't want to burn down your house. I'm just going to let this sit here for a few minutes um, to let it cool down. Like I said, the excess white part that's like not in line with the shape of the egg that you want, just take that off. It's really easy. Yeah, I'll do that later. Okay. Okay, so here we are. We are now done preparing everything. The egg is cooked. 
vegetables and fruit chopped and we are ready to prepare. So I'm going to take a handful of spinach. I'm just going to rinse it off really quick. Give it a nice shake. Okay. So I have some spinach. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want. It really does not matter. The egg is the base of this meal, so that's all that's important. Um, okay, now I'm going to... Well, first let me put my vegetables. So you can just sprinkle these on top. Have some fun with it. The more colorful it is, the better it is. That's my rule of thumb. So I got some green bell pepper, some diced up tomatoes, Okay, and then my apples. Okay, and I left the open, like the center part kind of open to put my egg. So here we go. And there's my egg. Um, I would leave it like this. You can also add, I have some chia seeds, let me grab those. Chia seeds really go well with anything. I typically put them on like yogurts, um, but they can also go on like literally anything. They don't have any flavor, so it can't hurt. They just add a nice like crunchy texture. Okay. Now there's chia seeds all over my sink. You can get um, this big bag. It it will last you like months, like maybe even a year, um, from Costco, and it's like six, six or seven dollars, but so worth it because they don't expire, I don't think. Yeah, they don't, oh, they expire in 2019, so in like two years, which you will probably finish before then. Um, anyway, I recommend buying them in big bulk because why not if you're going to use them? Okay, so here you have it. Let me, okay, I'm gonna, okay, so here you have um, my egg salad. Sorry, let me move that out of the way, okay. Um, egg salad, but not really egg salad. Uh, just to recap, I have a spinach bed on the bottom, added some bell pepper, tomato, apple slices, and then a poached egg on top, topped with chia seeds. This will fill you up for hours on end, give you all the energy you need for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try and do one, at least one video a week maybe. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on types of eggs or styles of eggs that you'd like to see cooked, just shoot me a comment and I will do that. Alright, have a good day everyone.